Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel, Bass and Intuitive Tarot. In today's reading, I will be doing a quick weekly check-in look at Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus for the week of May 12th through the 18th, or any cross-watchers dealing with a Pisces. However, my readings are timeless. Time is fluid, so regardless of what the date says, it's whenever you stumble upon this reading, okay? The Universe Spirits and Guides, what we have for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus for the week of May 12th through the 18th, or whenever they stumble upon this reading. I will be using two separate decks for this reading. One will be the Rider right Awake to represent your side of the story. And then the Gilded Tarot to represent your partner's side of the story. I will then clarify both using my Mystical Cat Tarot deck. I do this so I can see if you guys are mirroring the same energies or are on the same page. I will then be pulling three Romance Angels to get an overview of your romantic situation. And then I will close it out with two Psychic Tarot for the Heart Oracle cards to get a little advice from Spirit. Pisces, I won't be doing the intuitive exercise in the weekly readings, but if you're new to my channel, go to my playlist and look for Pisces May Monthly Reading. That's where I have my intuitive exercise, and a lot of the Zodiacs you know, gave me some really positive feedback for that exercise. I'm only reserving it for the monthlies, though. Um, but water signs are very intuitive. So this exercise should be easy to you, but a lot of people just don't trust their intuition. So go check that out, okay? And let me know what you think. I've already done my pre-shufflings and made my intentions known, so I'm just shuffling a little bit more for you on camera because I know you guys like to watch during the preamble. If you're new to my channel, please hit subscribe. We have fun at Bass and Intuitive Tarot Land. And if you're returning, Thank you, thank you, thank you for all the love and support you've given me. All the donations, all the beautiful comments. You have no idea. You think I'm helping you out? You're actually making, you know, you're helping me out because those comments really cheer me up. I love it. I read every single one of them, okay? Universe Spirits and Guides. What we have for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for the week of May 12th through the 18th or whenever they stumble upon this reading regarding their love life. Two more shuffles. All right, let's rock this deck. I hope you guys are doing awesome. Right, over on your side, Pisces. The overall energy on the bottom of your deck is the Knight of Cups. Yeah! You could be dealing with another water sign, Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpio, but regardless, somebody is feeling loved up with you. Is it you delivering this offer? Or is it your person stumbling in? Regardless, there's love in the air, and I'm feeling a light positive energy with this. This is long overdue, though. I feel like this horse took a few breaks. I feel like this horse originally started off as a, you know, Knight of Pentacle horse, and this guy, you know, retired that geriatric horse and got him a faster one, but he's still a little bit slow, too. He's not the, you know, the Knight of Wands, but he's coming. He's coming in, and it's going to be a lovey-dovey offer. This is great. I love it. All right, over on your person side. Now, if you feel like you resonate more with your person side, take it however it resonates. Flip flop the characters if you need to. The characters can be interchangeable. Just don't try to fit a square into a circle. If it's not resonating fully, don't force it, okay? Universe spirits and guides. And also, well, some of the times, only pieces of the reading will resonate to a few of you. That's spirit's way of saying you only needed to hear a couple confirmations. But if the whole thing resonates, that means spirit heard your prayers and knew that you needed some guidance. So just take pieces if it only fits in pieces. But if it fits the whole thing, take it. But if it doesn't, check out your moon, your rising, or Venus sign, or come back next week. You know, this is a general reading going towards a lot of people, so... Can't always hit everybody. All right, two more shuffles. All right, let's rock the deck. All right, your person side. Their overall energy on the bottom of the deck. Ten of swords. Ouch. But ten of swords means there's an ending for a new beginning. I'm wondering if your person just got, you know, finally ended an old relationship in order to start a new one with you? Or are they getting the call that you just left someone so they can come in and... There's an ending here. Somebody ended something that was really hard, something that was really toxic, something that was really unfulfilling, that weighed them down, left them feeling like there was 10 swords in their back. So either you just ended a long overdue relationship and this person's you know getting the SOS signals that you're ready for an offer, or 
they just left something that was toxic and now they're excited to come towards you because you guys had an instant connection. But let's find out more. We we'll dealing with an air sign, Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius. All right. Wow. This situation left you burdened. Were you waiting for someone to get out of a, a, a marriage or a relationship in order for your union to come together? I'm picking up on a Pisces who was waiting for someone to get out of a situation. Or this person was waiting for you to get out of a situation. Somebody was feeling burdened by this. There's two endings on the board. And a love offer that's coming in. And it's going to leave someone feeling wish fulfillment. I feel like somebody was waiting for someone to get out of a bad situation in order to start a new beginning. I feel like you both were also in bad situations and you're both ending something together. You guys might be both leaving a bad situation in order to be together. But let's keep going. It left you in your head though. This whole situ situation left you in your head because I feel like you still love the person that you left. Or your person still loved the person that they loved. It was kind of like a, um, a love-hate relationship. And what song came to my mind is Monster by Eminem and Rihanna. It was just, when it was going good, it was great. And when it was bad, it went bad. Or it was awful. I, I'm going to kill that song. But I feel like you or your person just left a really toxic love-hate relationship. A relationship that was so intense. That was so passionate. But it was so bad for them too. This, this this was a very unhealthy relationship. But it was like one of those like. Ups it was one of those relationships where you just you couldn't get out of it. It was like it was like, the devil was keeping you locked in. You knew this person wasn't good for you, but you just you it was so freaking hard to let go. And I feel like you were in your head about it creating a lot of self-sabotage. You had a beautiful offer coming in, but you you allowed this other person to like burden you or this person was in this situation. Take it however it resonates or you both were in this. But somebody was so scared to leave a toxic situation because there was love there. It was just one of those dirty types of love where it was like fighting, make up sex. Fighting, make up sex. Fighting, make up sex. Throwing people's clothes on the lawn and then coming back in and making up. That type of crap. Very toxic. It took a lot of soul searching to really start loving yourself and choosing yourself first. And once you start loving yourself first, things come your way. People start noticing you're loving yourself and they come in with offers. I feel like you stayed way too long in a situation that just left you feeling drained, defeated, and burdened. But you loved this person so much or your person is going through this right now. Somebody is really in their head and really had to go deep before they made this final call because there was love there. There could have been kids involved, staying together because of kids. But this isn't a life. That's not a life. Regardless if there's kids involved or that you love the person, when it when you're feeling like this by being with them, that's not love. That's not that's not the, a way to live. That's just not. And I feel like someone just made a tough decision to end a long term commitment to start loving themselves first, and there's a new offer coming in because of it. A little, you know, a reward for doing the right thing. All right, let's keep going. Someone took a break while they waited for you to end this relationship. Or you took a break while you waited for your person to end their relationship. Somebody took a break from this relationship just while someone got their shit in order. Waiting on a finalized divorce. Waiting on uh, the person that they were in a relationship with to find a new place so they weren't living together. Someone didn't want to come in with an offer until those ties were you know, severed. I feel like this person was just waiting to get the green light. For when you were officially broken up with this person, you were officially divorced, or they were officially out of your home, and you weren't living together. They don't want to offer someone love if they're still roommates with their ex-boyfriend or roommates with their ex-wife. It doesn't work that way with this person. This person wanted you completely single. They wanted you completely single before they come in with some wish fulfillment. 
I feel like somebody broke up with somebody to have their new beginning. And the situation could involve children. That's probably what was slowing it down, that there was children involved. Someone wanted to get out of a very bad relationship or end of marriage, but there was children slowing it down because you didn't want to break up your home or leave the children without a, you know, a stable mother and father together. Or this is your person. But I feel like children was slowing down this from moving forward. Or this person is from your past life and that's why you had an instant connection with them. You guys are soulmates. When they met you, it was kind of like, oh, there you are. What took you so long to get here? You're connecting with someone who's an actual soulmate. And they really want this offer with you. But they want to make sure that you are detached from old ties. So I wouldn't be surprised if I get the release your ex card out and later on when I pull the romance angel cards. They want you single. Spirit is making it perfectly clear right now that on your board, everything is revolving around you needing to be single in order to get this offer. Somebody is not going to present you an offer if you are still attached to somebody. Regardless if they're not living with you anymore. If you are somewhat still attached to this person, and attached could still mean that even though you guys are broken up, you still think about this person a lot. That's still attachment. This person wants you completely over your ex. They want this ex completely out of the picture, not even a thought in your mind unless it has to do with the kids. They don't, they, they won't be upset if you still have the ex around to like help you support the children. That's fine. They just don't want you having any leftover residue of love towards this person. Nothing, nothing more than, you know, a love for someone for being your child's parent. That's only for a select few. Others, it's just, um, it, others just need to release an ex. You don't even have to have children with this ex. But this person doesn't want to come in with an offer all, unless they are completely 100% sure that you are over an ex. But I'm going to clarify. I'm going to clarify the Six of Cups. Let me get one on the Six of Cups, please. If you haven't already, hit subscribe and thank you. One on the Six of Cups. Why is the Six of Cups here? Only one. Don't give me an avalanche. They're waiting for you to get single. This is the Three of Wands, Leo, Sagittarius, Aries. Somebody here is waiting for somebody to get single before they can present this offer. They want to present you an offer. They're waiting. They're waiting in the shadows for that light to come out when you send them a text saying, it's, it's official, we're broken up. It's official. The divorce has been finalized. It's official. I'm over him, over her. Let me get... Let me get one on the Nine of Pentacles. Why isn't there that Nine of Pentacles here? Two of Cups. They want you single because they know you are their soulmate. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. They want you single. They are so ready to start this life with you. But you have to be single. You have to be completely healed from one relationship before you move on to a next. You could already be separated from this person, but if you're still healing, they want you to be fully healed before moving on to them. You need to be fully healed, Pisces. Or cross watcher. Alright, if Pisces gets fully healed and detaches from their ex, or vice versa, what would be the possible outcome? Give me two cards for the possible outcome. This is a quick check-in, so I'm not doing a thorough reading. Those are for my monthlies, okay? Otherwise, I'd be here for an hour. The monthlies, I am very thorough. I go up to like an hour. On the bottom of the deck, the Empress. They see you as abundant. They see you as nurturing and loving and having everything. They want to be a part of that. But what fell out? No more juggling. Two of Pentacles. Could be dealing with an earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. They don't want you juggling anymore. And again, you don't have to be physically with this person, but they're still lingering in your heart. They want that completely healed. They're up at night, every night about this. Nine of Swords, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. They are losing so much sleep over this. They are just so scared that you are not completely over your ex. Somebody here is scared that you're not over your ex or that you're not going to leave this person so they can come in. They really want to come in and present an offer. They do. Take it however it resonates. 
or you're waiting for someone else to end something so they can, you know, you can offer something to them. Somebody here is waiting for someone to get out of a, you know, a situation that no longer served them. Somebody is losing so much sleep because they're scared that someone's not going to go through with it. That someone is just stringing them along and not ever going to break ties. They're thinking that you're wanting to have your cake and eat it too. But Pisces isn't like that. Most Pisces I've ever known are pretty loyal. They only like to have one person at a time. They like to give their heart to one person. But they're just still scared that you're not going to go go through with it. Or this is you worrying about them. Let me get three romance angels. Let me get three romance angels. Give me two. Let go of control issues. Allow the situation to unfold naturally. Give me one more. Someone is wearing a false self mask in this relationship. They're scared that you're not releasing this ex. I swear it's all over here. Healing family issues, your love life benefits as you forgive your parents. Yes, they're waiting for you to fully heal from a past situation. And there's there could definitely be children involved. I feel like this is a father saying goodbye to their children because they have he has to move into his own place now. We've moving out of the house where mommy lives. And he's saying goodbye to his children. Or a, a mom is saying goodbye to her children because she has to move out because the the um the kids are staying with the dad full time. Or it's a fifty fifty split. But somebody is leaving the primary home to move into a new home and they're sharing custody with the kids. It doesn't have to be for all of you, but somebody here is saying goodbye to a, a, a stable way of living where there was a, you know, a two-parent household. And the other card that came out is separation. This time apart from your partner is on the horizon. Yeah, they're waiting for you to get separated from your current person. I feel like you were in the process of it, but you were taking a long time. A lot of things kept on slowing it down. You were waiting until you had your money in order. You were waiting until you found a new job. You were waiting until you found a new place to live with your family, your kids. If you have kids, you were waiting for this. You were doing this. And then things just kept on slowing you down. The COVID happens and then you may have lost your job or, you know, you don't want to leave and go be outside. You don't want your kids outside. Something is slowing it down. It's keeping you, you know, separated from the person who wants to present you an offer. Or it's slowing you down from actually getting separated from your current person. Let me get two advice cards. Give me two advice cards, please. Two advice cards. Hit like and subscribe. Love abounds, though. Once you end a toxic situation, love abounds. Take the lead and seek. This person is waiting for you to handle your business and then take the lead. Letting them know, hey... I did what I had to do. I am now single for you. And they're going to seek you out to give you an offer. All right, Pisces, that was your weekly check-in. And if you haven't already, hit like. If you haven't already, let me know in the comments below what you think of my new channel. And if you haven't already, hit subscribe, share, share, share. And please return because I love to have you. As always, Bass and Intuitive Tarot. Later.